Charlie, you worked Hot Rod Charlie this morning. Tell, and he, he worked in, what, a minute and, and change. Tell us about the work. I thought it was a great move. Uh, he's full of energy. He's doing everything. Very happy. Um, I'm thrilled with the way he's coming into the race. Uh, really looking forward to next Saturday. You worked him, I know, two weeks ago. Did you work him last week as well? Yes, ma'am. It looks like a real progression. There was the, the, what, he worked like in 49, and then I think he worked at, you know, five-eighths, and then he only worked three quarters today. Yes, ma'am. So let's sort of talk about the progression, what you're seeing since you rode him in the Lucas Classic. No, he came out of Lucas Classic great. Uh, we had a nice, easy half to start things off. Uh, he went solo. He's a... Uh, when he's by himself, he's a little bit lazy, but uh, we started to kind of tune it up a little bit, come in the last two weeks, uh, had a sharp 5 eight breeze in company last week, and then came back today with the three quarters move. And uh, I mean, he's doing everything right. When you won the Lucas Classic on him, it was only your second time riding him, and your first time in like two years, you rode him here at Keeneland in the Breeders' Cup um, Juvenile, when he was like 90 to one, <laughs> finished second. What do you remember about him that day and what were your impressions of him that day? Well, I was able to work him a week before the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and I love the way he went. Uh, he got over the track great. So we had some confidence coming into the race and he, he really ran a big race that day. Uh, at the top of the lane, I thought we had it done, but we were run down by a very nice horse that year, essential quality. And uh, my horse ran a big race that day, but uh, a couple years in between getting on him, stepping on this year in the Lucas Classic. And what a big, strong horse, and he's really developed into a, a monster. Yeah, uh, you seemed really excited being back on him after the Lucas Classic. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he, he's always been a special horse to me. Uh, I was really upset when I wasn't able, because of COVID, to go out to California and ride him in his three old uh, campaign. But uh, it's nice to be back with him. Uh, what's the difference between him now and then? He's just a, mis a much bigger, stronger. Uh, much more patient. Uh, he's just all class. Now, this classic's going to be one of the, the most amazing mm -hmm. in a while. I mean, you've got two horses. People are using the words generational yeah. and flight line and life is good. And and uh, then you've got the reigning derby winner that you just beat in the last race. And um, and, and Hot Rod Charlie that never runs a bad race. Sort of talk about uh, the classic and your oh, expectations. It, as a fan of horse racing, it what a race. Uh, I, I can't wait to be part of it. It's, it's going to be truly amazing. Uh, like you said, there's so many great individual horses. It's, it's going to be a great matchup.